We also have a list of the ARC Innovation top holdings that we're about to show in just a second. Um, do you see anything in the ARC that you think is, I guess, salvageable after a, a really big downturn this year? Yeah, I mean, there might be bits and pieces. You might be able to pick some individual stocks, but the ARK Innovation Fund has really become the poster child for your, your growth tech stocks, which have really underperformed this year and likely are going to continue to underperform. I think what's really fascinating is if you look at the ARK Innovation Fund, it went from a high of in February, almost $28 billion in assets, down to about $6.5 billion recently. And interestingly enough, that's with clients adding, I think, almost a, a billion and a half of assets over that time frame because people are actually buying into the dip. And I think this is something I just want to continue to remind investors. You know, we've talked a lot about this on the show, but the story doesn't end here. If we do continue to have higher rates next year, these are going to continue to be under pressure. We've seen this in the past. I mean, I don't know if we're in the tech bubble, but you did see this where you had periods of, of tech companies underperforming for a decade. And that can happen again when valuations are so high. And I think you really want to be cautious of that as you go into 2023.